This is the Network Operations Center. The overall goal of this puzzle is to gain access to the computer in the room and the files on it. When participants enter the room, they will see a traditional looking office space designed to appear as the office of an executive at a satellite infrastructure company. Participants will use their knowledge of commonly kept passwords and passphrases, as well as contextual clues throughout the room to gain access to the computer. This is a control room designed after a control room in a ground control station. When participants enter the room, they will see four main desks with monitors and several workstations underneath large projectors. Participants will have to use their knowledge of logic gates, ciphers, and general problem solving skills to succeed in this room. This is the clean room. The overall goal of this room is to figure out how to unlock the clean room computer. When participants first walk in, they will see the outside prep area of a clean room. It is filled with personal protective equipment, such as bunny suits, foot protectors, and sticky mats. Participants will use their knowledge of Huffman coding and common clean room practices to solve this puzzle. The overall goal of this room is to access data on the crash satellite. This room is an open outdoor landscape where a failed rocket launch crashes back down to Earth. Pieces of the satellite cover the ground surrounding a small tool shed. To solve this puzzle, participants must find out key information from the crash site and use their knowledge of coding and satellite structure. After solving all of the other rooms, students can access the courtroom to get information on potential suspects in this cybercrime. After the participants have gone through the 3D rooms, they will have access to the instance that you're looking at with a bunch of different files and programs and challenges that they'll have to look at to try to piece together the puzzle and solve the crime that has occurred. Uh, the first one that they'll have is this program called STK Viewer. This is going to allow the participants to see satellite positions and there's going to be some small challenges within it asking about satellite orbits, um, some things about missing characters and coordinates and where and when satellites were flying over what countries and so the participants will have to answer these questions. Immediately after they're going to go and start looking at a Raspberry Pi there's a Raspberry Pi with a Python script that was running on it, as well as some CSV files that were captured from it. And this is gonna pair with a Wireshark PCAP, uh, which is going to be taken from the crime scene. And they're gonna also find CSV logs, connections, and other things that are gonna help them pinpoint who exactly is the culprit behind this crime. They're then gonna go to autopsy, where they can look through the uh, people's computer that is being imaged and under investigation after picking it from the 3D virtual courtroom set. This is going to require them to have an understanding of file systems, common data hiding techniques such as hiding files, moving things to the trash, putting things in obscure files, and a few other things that will save for the challenge. Um, and then finally, they're going to have a satellite code that was running that simulates a satellite's operating system and allows the participants to interact with the peripherals. And so this will let you look at the altitudes, temperature, motion, uh, electronics, transmissions of it, and then also ping the satellite and see why it crashed and what has occurred here. So we're excited to have the participants go through the challenge and share what we've made with you.